Right now, big banking, software, pharmaceutical, and tobacco corporations are lobbying governments from 12 countries to negotiate the dirtiest deal you've never heard of. There's a reason you haven't heard of the TPP, or Trans-Pacific Partnership. There are some major corporations and government officials that don't want you to know what's in the deal. For one, our food safety standards, environmental protections, and local labor laws could all be threatened under the TPP. We could all be forced to pay significantly more for the medicines we need, and you could be fined or even sent to jail for downloading copyrighted content on the Internet. How will they know if you do it? Because your Internet service providers could be required to watch your online activity. But that's not even the scariest part. The TPP gives corporations the power to sue our government in secret form tribunals over any law or regulation they claim affects their expected future profits. Don't believe it? It's already happening. Recently, after Canada said U.S. big pharma corporation Eli Lilly's drug price raising patents were not legit, the firm sued the Canadian taxpayers for a staggering half a billion dollars. And now billions of dollars are being demanded from Germany after it decided to phase out nuclear power following the Fukushima disaster and improve environmental standards for coal-fired electric plants. Philip Morris and Chevron are in on the game too, raiding taxpayer dollars and trying to reverse crucial policies we all rely on. Thankfully, not everyone is willing to sign on the dotted line just yet. In fact, most government officials still have no idea what they're even signing on to, for good reason. So far, Democrats and Republicans in the House of Representatives have united against fast-tracking the TPP. But there is a mighty corporate lobby that wants to make sure the deal is signed and railroaded quickly through Congress before we know about the damage it will cause us. We must get our senators and representatives to stop fast-track. Here's the deal. Without a strong public outcry, politicians will only hear the concerns of multinational corporations. And once the TPP is signed, it's here forever. There's no expiration date and no separation clause. This dirty deal has been deliberately branded as a free trade agreement. It is anything but free for people like you and me. And it's not really about trade. It could cost us our internet freedom, labor rights, access to affordable medicine, the safety of our food and protections that keep our water and air clean. Nobody wants to be stuck with a backroom deal we don't want and never voted for. Find out more, speak up, and spread the word.